This is Ryan from BetterTattooing.com again. We're out in the garage answering questions today. And today's question is, how do I tell when my tattoo is healed? <laughs> Alright, now that that's over with, let's go over this simple question. When am I healed? So realistically, if it comes down to it, if you ask this question, you're probably not healed. Just that's the simple fact, right? If you have to guess, just be safe. Give it another couple days, maybe a couple weeks. Who knows? But this is actually a misleading question because there's two stages of healings, right? One is going to be the topical layer of skin, which is going to be the epidermal. Epidermal. I got to spell and evidently talk at the same time. Layer healing, right? And then there's like the second stage of healing, which is going to be the sub-epidermal, God, I gotta actually talk this out, healing, right? And this takes place usually much longer. This is like, we'll just go longer. I'm not going to get into it right now. Realistically, what we're going to be focusing on is healing so you can continue to do whatever you normally do. That's it. Can, when can I get back to my normal test? I want to go swimming. I want to do a bunch of stupid stuff and I'm worried about my healing uh, being affected by whatever I'm doing. So we're just going to focus on this one. Usually... We're going to say, look for a few things. One, no scabs. Well, realistically, there shouldn't be scabs on your tattoo anyways if it's done well. If it's not done, and I don't want to pick on people. I'm not here to say this or whatever. But if, if you have scabs on your tattoo, someone screwed up. Like, realistically, that's what it is. You can have flaking, like these little, these little tiny little bits of like skin that flake off. They're all colored, and they just kind of fall off. It looks like your skin's got bad dandruff. That's normal. If you have big, chunky scabs... That look like little loaves of bread that maybe you're like pitted in the middle and stuff. That is bad. That means your skin was really traumatized. It's okay to see things like exudate, which I mean, you can go ahead and look that up. Maybe I'll make a video about it. And that, when you're doing the tattoo, that's fine. But if you see blood, that's bad. Blood is bad. That makes me sad. We don't want to see that in a tattoo. If you see blood, usually you're going to get scabs. If we don't have blood, you won't see scabs. Eggs day gets a little bit of flaking, just the outer layer of the skin healing. So that's one. No scabs. If you don't see scabs, you're on your way to being healed. The next one is, look at your skin. Look, right? Whoop, whoop. If it's glossy, or if it has like a sheen to it, it almost kind of looks like a piece of plastic stretched over top of your skin, exactly where the tattoo is. Maybe sometimes you got to shine the light at it, right? You got like angle it right so you can kind of take a peek if it looks glossy it's not fully healed you may have a second peel coming up and that just depends on how bad the trauma was i mean if you have a tattoo that's really short maybe it's like a 10 minute tattoo is going to be done something small like a mountain range or something that seems to be all the hip rage out on the west coast these days you get something like this done and that thing actually looks like it's a little bit of a pouty mountain if you get something like that done, that's super quick. There isn't a lot of trauma to the skin. You didn't see redness happening, anything like that. Perhaps that first glossiness, you're not going to get a second peel. It might be okay. But on average, if you've had a peel and your skin still looks really glossy, maybe you've been not taking care of it as best you have. Maybe you've been taking care of it too much. Just wait an extra four to five days. On average, most tattoos are healed in seven to 14 days right? And this is going to be your magic time when you can like go out and re like re, start reliving everything you're supposed to, not reliving, but you can start acting in life the way you're supposed to be and like reliving stuff. Yeah. All of a sudden I'm going back in time. This is going to be fucking great. Anyways, seven to 14 days, check and see if you still have any type of scabbing on there. It's not safe to do what you want to do. Just wait on average tattoos that are done effectively correctly. They haven't damaged the skin too much. It's about seven to 10 days. Well, I'll say 7 to 14 just because sometimes people have sensitive skin. They don't like being stabbed with needles a lot. But that's okay. So, when am I healed? Realistically, your body will tell you. So if you think that you aren't healed, you're probably not. But just in case, wait 7 to 14 days. Talk to your tattooer. Send them an email. Postage. You can go and give them a call. It's a pandemic right now when I'm recording this, so don't go in and see them face-to-face. -face, unless they're, like, totally down with that, which, you know, whatever. Um, but just like reach out, ask them, ask a professional, don't ask your friends, go ask a doctor, do something with somebody who knows something about the skin. You don't ask your cat what to have for dinner. Don't ask your friends if your tattoo's healed. Anyways, this is Ryan from bettertattooing.com. Thanks for watching.